see you, Matthew. They couldn't hear you, your response to me. But he said, good to see you too. <laughs> Matthew, tell us a little bit about your life before knowing Christ as your Lord and Savior. Before I was saved, I grew up in a Christian home. I went to church every Sunday, believing I was saved because my parents were. All the way up until seventh grade, I was homeschooled. I entered the public school system. My life went down from there. No longer were my parents with me 24 7 to keep me in line, and my true desires were revealed. I began to experiment with different sins. I longed to fulfill something inside of me. Over a series of years, I strayed away from my parents' ways. I, I found a love for sin and was running towards it in every situation I could. Popularity, girls, and drugs took over my heart and my desires. I found a group of friends, friends I fit into who were popular, but with popularity came peer pressure. This lifestyle was one that I believed would satisfy me. I believed the approval of others and resources the world gave me would satisfy. They never did. Wow, so how did the Lord take that desire for satisfaction and then turn it toward His Son, Jesus Christ, in your life? At the beginning of the sophomore year, I had been broken up with from a relationship and was heartbroken. I never felt so hurt or lonely and didn't know how to react. Um, I felt as if I had no purpose and no worth. I remember one day I sat there confused and emotional so it's my mom. I told her I felt I had no purpose and no real meaning. She had set up meetings between me and Goggles. Through the meetings, Goggles clearly walked me through the gospel over some time, which is that Christ died on the cross and rose again for my sins. It helped me realize my sin in a clear way for the first time. It did not happen in one instance, but over time, I fell in love with God and His Word. I recognized that I could do nothing, but that if I gave up my life for Him, I could live with Him for eternity in heaven. Awesome. That is so cool. Goggles is Carlos, <laughs> the man sharing the gospel. That is awesome. Okay, so how did, how did the Lord then change your life? No, I'm not perfect and still sin continuously, but my desire is not to pursue that sin, but to pursue Christ. Over the duration of being saved, my longing to read God's word still grows, and my desire for Him, my desires have changed for Him rather than for myself. The people I now immerse myself around are people who are living for the Lord and not only people who are living for themselves. Christ has shown me that all things in the world are temporary and have no worth. At summer camp 2018, Adam Ashoff opened my eyes to what abiding in Christ looks like and having a real relationship with Him rather than just living for Him. In John 15, 4, it states, Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself, and unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I now get to serve and set up and tear down with some of my greatest brothers in Christ and Munoz. I, have also, I also have wise men who love and look after me and keep me accountable. Through everything I do now, I try to exemplify Christ and His love. I do not do any of these things perfectly. My desire to pursue Christ through all. Awesome. Amazing testimony of the only satisfaction is found in Jesus Christ and Him alone. Awesome. Matthew will get ready to be baptized. You're one of those rare individuals that they got to see as a little boy and now a man. And it is awesome. Awesome. I, we love your parents. We love your family. But I have to say that I think that of all the Calvies, maybe Carolyn, but of all the Calvies, you're the coolest, I guess. <laughs> but I'm so thankful for you and your testimony, your love for Christ. And then on the basis of your testimony, what Christ has done and how he saved you and rescued you and made you his own. I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right.